Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. This time we're going to work with our good friend the Echo Flex and the little nightlight. Because that's something that would be handy for some of us when you don't want to blind yourself if you have to go into one of your bathrooms at night. And this way it's a little subtle light or if it's a even something in the hallway. So going to take it one step at a time. I think we're all going to find it's very straightforward and we're even going to see if you've been watching my videos on Alexa Guard that we may be able to get this light recognized by that. But we're going to see. Guys, I haven't even tried that yet. So we'll go ahead and get started. But before we do, I just want to thank everybody for who's been subscribing to the channel and liking on the videos. And if you do find value out of this video, would appreciate your like it just tells YouTube that this is the kind of content they're wanting to see and it helps it be shown to other people who may not be uh, directly searching for it. So enough said, let's go ahead and switch over to our good friend, the uh, Echo Flex. And I just hit the wrong button there. Sorry about that. And let's go here. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you get too many buttons on the screen, but you know, such as, uh, such as life. Okay, now we'll just make sure that it's working here and we'll go computer time. The time is 2.41 p.m. Okay, now I'm starting to put, you'll notice a small uh, lavalier mic down here. That way you can hear it just about as well as I'm hearing it. Now the smart light or smart LED light, whatever you want to call it, is just a very simple module and all you have to do and it doesn't really, well, it's, only, it's going to only go in one way. So let me move the mic out of the way here just a bit and we'll plug in. Now, what I do need to say up front, obviously I had it upside down, is before you try to use one of these, this part has got to be configured. So if you try to put them all in at once, I would do like you saw when we first were, started working with the flexes to get it up and running first before you get fancy but all you should have to do is just and you'll see the light flash briefly and I found first light and you can control it by saying turn off first light computer turn on first light okay computer turn off first light okay now, I'm not used to technology working right out of the box. And it just, all I, all I had done before starting the video is I'd unplug this module to get it up, you know, have it ready to go. And besides, you've all seen enough unboxing videos. So that's, that's not a problem. So let's go over here to my good old buddy, the Samsung S9 Plus. And what we're going to do is we'll go into my voice folder where I've got Alexa, and it's already got a couple of messages for me, but I have a feeling I know what that is. So we will go down here to Settings, Devices, and see there's First Light. Now, that this may change at some point depending on whatever software revision or whatever we want to do. So we probably want to go in here. Now, you, you can change... You can see everything can be done here. We've we can set the color. So if you want more of, if you want, uh, oh gosh, look at the combination here: blue, yellow, green, red. I, I mean, it's it's nice that you have those kind of options. And I have a feeling there's some custom routines that may lend it well. So just for the sake of argument, we'll change it to red. And then of course you see it. Well, you can't see it there. But as we change it, then you can see what the color will look like. We just turned it to gold. And hopefully it's not blowing out the camera too much. But we'll uh, we'll go back to red here since that's standard. And it, and it looks more kind of orangish to me. Although let's tap orange. Okay, orange looks a little bit lighter. But I, that's just my color perception. So we'll go back here. And see, so you can turn it on and off from the Alexa app. Maybe not the handiest thing in the world, but it's an option. So we go in and tap that little gear icon you saw, and that's where we can change 
the name. So we'll go down here and well here. I'm cha I'm changing things and then you're not seeing what I'm changing. So let me back out a step here. Let's Okay, now this is where we can turn it on and off. And then we'll go into the little gear icon and this is where you see where it says set color. That's where I went in and changed the different colors. Now we'll go back up here to the gear icon. We'll go edit name. And we'll call this bathroom light. I don't want it in all caps. I don't want to have to scream in the night. Sorry, that's an old joke when, when the internet first started coming around. If you type something in all caps, that was considered yelling. So bathroom light. And we'll tap enter. And see, it says connected via Echo Flex. And it tells you who made a third, third reality. Type light. And you can disable this if you would want to. Although, if you were going to disable it to me, you would just unplug it. But that that's me. Okay. So, let's go back to camera two here. And let's try computer. Turn off bathroom light. Okay. Computer. Turn on bathroom light. Okay. This is doing better than I had expected with some of the, the voice recognitions. I, I've had challenges in the past to where it would, you know, you'd have to kind of either do funny spellings or whatever, but to be able to tell it to uh, computer, turn off bathroom light. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. And of course, if you were watching it from the app, then you would also see that it's changed state in the app. So this is really pretty straightforward. Now let's go in, let's go push our luck here and let's go in to down here and go into guard and we will tap on the gear icon and we will go to lights. Okay, guard thinks it's in away mode. I haven't turned it to that, but we'll change it to home. So that's fine. I might have tapped the screen when I wasn't thinking about it. We'll turn on lights. Okay, now look, there, it does show it. So that would be handy. So bathroom light, so it knows it by its name and that's 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 handy. I can see potentially having one of these uh, in the hallway, maybe when you first enter the kitchen. There, there's all sorts of of possibilities for for this to happen. So that's really pretty straightforward. So so that's good. And as you, it's very straightforward. All of it is done from the Alexa app. It you know, and I, I'm not even going into the web interface because this seems to be the preferred way that. Uh, Amazon's wanting to have everything done, but as you did see, if it's in a way mode, it's not going to let you make changes, which is, I guess, in a way, a, a good thing. So I'm not definitely going to complain about that. If you're out and not able to watch some of the videos I'm creating, they are available either as a podcast or as an Alexa skill. If you go to techbyteswithronnutter.com, that's the website where I handle all of that and I take you right to the page where you can make an Alexa skill. I'm just trying to make things as easy as I can for you. So really this is, uh, I, I was expecting to have some challenges because I deliberately had not set this up before. I just wanted to see what it, how it was going to react and work. And as you can say, it came right up and it's, it's, I'm, I'm impressed and I, and I'm not easily impressed. I've generally things work. Okay. That's what it should do. But for the ease of use and everything to be there, that's when it makes the, the difference and, and gets my attention. So with that, that's all we got for this time. You're going to see videos here or here or for some of the earlier ones I've done with the Echo Flex and some of the other ones I've done with smart home technology. If you're, and this is not, they're not uh, endorsing the videos, but I, I feel this strongly about the product. If you use credit cards a lot for purchasing your smart home stuff, or even just say bill paying or, or whatever you may think of, consider using privacy.com. There's a, a link 
in the in the description that will take you to it and if you sign up for the service you'll get a i think you're supposed to get a, a few dollars five dollars something like that and then i'll get a little bit of something but even if you don't use that link please consider using that one because that definitely is nice because you can prevent say something being charged when you're using dedicated cards for a certain merchant or if you're trying a website one time and you don't know if you want to continue renewing Let's face it, some of the websites are not easy to get a recurring charge knocked off, but you can disable the card and that can be a fail-safe option. Anyway, enough with that. Thank you for your time. Appreciate everybody who's subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that uh, like button if you're the, the, the thumbs up and make sure you hit the notifications icon to get notified on any videos that I do come out with. Thank you much for your time and we'll see you again soon.